The problems are going to be in vastly increasing numbers of patients with long-term conditions and multiple long-term conditions. Uh, that number is going up and up and up um, as every year passes. At the moment, often practices work very reactively. So you're, you're caught out sometimes by patients with big needs. But also when there's urgent care, a lot of GP appointments, a lot of same-day appointments are often driven by patients who've got long-term conditions, who need help. And I think our clinicians are often frustrated that they can't do as much as they'd like for their patients and do enough in their homes. So they are, they're central really to, to all that we do. What we're doing about it is completely redesigning the way that we look after our patients with long-term conditions. We're doing it at practice level within the surgeries and we're also doing it out in the community. We're redesigning all of the patient care in the community to make it much more joined up. I think it's equipping our clinicians to have the extra support they need. So prison will, will be a great asset to the practice team and rather than the trend being for patients to come from us into hospital, uh, it will enable a lot of the specialties that are in hospital to come out into the community and for us to be at the kind of the hub of that team uh, in caring for those patients better. And importantly, it's about being able to communicate their needs to the healthcare teams. So that everybody is communicating with everybody properly um, and that there are teams of people who will help look after patients, particularly the, the very vulnerable and the very high risk patients. There's so many needs and so much more that could be done in the community if the, if the people were there to do it. So instead of it just relying on us and our team thinking what can we do and often having to send people into hospital or patients needing help at weekends and things and the support not being there, PRISM's going to put in place the teams, the support structures needed uh, to keep people in their homes, to help them manage their conditions better and not just to react um, when things go wrong but to think ahead and think what are the problems uh, going to be, who are the patients that are going to need support, how can we put the resources in place to, to help look after them better and keep them out of hospital. Well importantly the carer is the focus in this as well so what they have to say is heard, also what the family has to say is heard. It will provide support for the work that I do because I know that when I see patients here in the, in the GP setting, that if they're becoming more and more vulnerable and more high risk for admission, um, that there will be contacts, name contacts, that I will be able to approach there and then. So having that support targeted at the right patients available at the other end of the phone is going to make a massive difference to our practice. Importantly, I think we use the, the key phrase, the mantra, which is no decision without you. And that's the key part of this. The patient is at the centre of their own care. So, health care, local support, voluntary support comes to them. So it's a total change to what health care will be in the future to what it is now. I owe that my healthcare team something back because they've helped me and it also gives me a chance to speak out and get the best care we can for people in our local community. Given the new health bill we can truly say what's needed to make things better for people. I think for the process to work, I mean, it doesn't work with just one party or one GP practice or one organisation, the whole point is to integrate care for patients and um, to pull information and resources and send them around the patient themselves uh, rather than around the organisations and how they want to work. So for that to be successful it's essential uh, that all organisations partner together as they are doing uh, and work well and put the patient at the centre and put aside their own priorities and ask what does it mean to put the patient first, to provide services and care in a way that will best benefit our patients and that's exactly what we're doing with PRISM.